raining or not, here we come. We can't stop playing escape rooms all day long. What's up, everybody? It's Brandon from Escape the Rooms. We are in Montgomery, Illinois, and we are at Mind Trap Escape Rooms, and we're playing four of their games today. There's plenty of parking right outside. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more content. Peace! This video is sponsored by Eleven Puzzles. They love to make fun cooperative puzzle games online. Their next game, Parallel Experiment, comes out later this year. But you can play a free demo on Steam now. Check out their website and follow their social for updates. What's poppin' and lockin' everybody? Brandon from Escape the Rumors. Like I said, we are at Mind Trap Escape Rooms in Montgomery, Illinois, and I am with Ryan, the owner. Ryan, how yes, are you? Yes, good, good. How's it going? Very good. Thank you for having us, yes. uh, getting up so early and hosting us. We really appreciate it. <laughs> so we are playing four of the how many games do you have here? We have seven now. Oh my God, they have seven games. Yeah. Okay, so we're playing four of the games here. What are we playing? I know Storm Surge is the Storm first Storm Surge, uh, Mafia Heist, which is the one everyone talks about here, okay. uh, Vampire uh and collector i believe the collector yes. right all right i have to ask you you have seven games which seems to be the most popular mafia heist people traveling from all around the world to play mafia it's right. super popular it's uh 1600 square feet multiple floors multiple f oh, yeah man okay yeah. without any spoilers it's, yeah it's, yeah it's no cool. it's cool Aside from Mafia Heist, because we've actually also heard of Mafia Heist from word of mouth and all sure. the praise we've heard about it, what would be the second most popular? Ah, uh, this is a tough one. They're all, they're all really hot. Um, mm -hmm. Vampires is pretty cool. Okay. Right now, Vegas is hot because it's our it's our newest, the newest just game. Open. Yeah, yeah. So that one's really cool right now. Um, so that one's getting a lot of attraction. Uh, then we have a Jurassic one that's coming in soon too. So that one's gonna be hot. Just letting you know, so I've been following you guys for a while. We do have a running um, blog of the newest games and upcoming games for 2024. Cool. Uh, Vegas is on there as a new game, and Jurassic, I saw, is on social media. Yes. This is also on there as an upcoming game. Make sure you keep checking that list. Save it to your favorites, because I am constantly updating that list with what you can get out there and play all around the world. I got it! I hit it right in the bullseye! Oh, yeah. Ryan? Yes. Oh, sorry, Dave. <laughs> sorry, guys. It's getting carried away. You know, axe throwing, escape rooms, perfect uh, form of entertainment to have together. Yes, uh, yes, definitely. So look at this. They have an axe throwing. How many pits do you have here? Uh, just three. Three pits. Okay. And then um, when did you open this? Is this axe throwing open in 2018 here? 
2018. Yeah, so you've wow. had it for, uh, for quite a few years. And when did you open Mind Trapped Escape Rooms? That opened in 2016. Wow, you guys have been around for a while, way before we started playing escape rooms. Really, really. <laughs> yeah, it's, right. it's definitely evolved over the years. Okay, now in terms of like axe throwing, do most people come and they, they play escape rooms and axe, like do they build it? Both, both, yeah. it, it's a good mixture. So people come in for axe throwing and then realize that we have escape rooms here. People come in for escape rooms and realize we have axe throwing here. Um, we also have like some mini games people can add on to their escape rooms. So if they don't have time to do a full axe throwing session, we have like carnival style games where if they throw it and they hit a bullseye or they hit a kill shot on the board and they get a free t-shirt. Uh, so we have a bunch of little tiny mini games people can add on to their experience here too. Wow, this is very cool. All right, I gotta ask you, as an owner, yes. who opened in 2016, mm -hmm. is there any words of advice or any tips you can give any future owners in the industry or Ooh. current owners? It's a tough one. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like the new trend is everyone wants immersion, you know, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what we're known for here is we also have a haunted house here and all that. So we're known for, yeah, we're known for immersion, uh, which kind of gives us a little bit of an edge mm -hmm. as what we do for a living here is we build really immersive sets. Right, right. Uh, and that seems to be kind of what the trend is going for. People love puzzles, they want to have fun, but they also want that level of immersion. Right. And I think that's what some of the places out there are lacking is that level of immersion. So definitely go full on, you know, Put, put all your eggs in a basket and do a lot of immersion in the room. Definitely, great words of advice. Uh, yeah, we always appreciate escape rooms that have, I mean, it doesn't have to be the most immersive, but it has to have a flow and a, a storytelling uh, component to it right. to kind of take you away, you know, for that one hour while you're, you know, enjoying yourself and trying to navigate through the game. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Not again. I'm not looking. Okay. You done? I'm done. I'm All done. Right. All right. Um, oh, there's no order to flush, button. but okay. All right. <laughs> we are in one of their games, which is Supermax. Yes. Okay. And um, we got to figure out a way to bust out of here because I'm tired of being here. Look how many days we've been here. <sighs> and accidentally just locked the door on us. And we're actually locked in right now, guys, just uh, FYI. But uh, I'm sure he has like a key hidden somewhere or we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> but before we bust out of here, I got another question for you. Yes. All right, now I know you game master still, you still watch them on the cameras and help players through. Uh, is there any story you can share with us? I know you've seen a lot. Anything crazy, funny, outrageous you oh, wanna share? Oh man, so like we have a live actor room here. So there's every day, it's, it's a new story in there. It's, mm -hmm. it's always crazy things going on. But the wildest thing would probably be where you were just standing. Uh, someone decided to use the, uh, the jail and toilets I in here, actually use it. So now it's in part of the rules that uh, the game masters are telling people what to do and not to do to not use the toilets. Hopefully they were doing what I did, number one. Yes. Okay. No drop in the do well, don't drop a one or a two <laughs> in any Please of their don't. games. Please don't. There's always that one player that has to create a new rule for the uh, the owners and the managers have to tell the players. Yes, yes. Uh, all right. Well, uh, hopefully it was because he actually had to go. It wasn't because, like, you know, he was so scared that he had to go. That happens all the time, believe it or not, in Dr. Death. We have people all the time that do, do that stuff. Well, we're not playing Dr. Death. Out. Well, not now. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we'll build up the courage to come back Maybe. and play that game. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, I'm about to tick another day off. We got to get out of here. I can't take it.
Ryan! Ryan! Yes, yes. Oh my you got God. lost. Weird. We were talking and walking, and then you went to go get pick up a phone call, and what, now where you're the hell is it? Where, 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 where is this? Now you're in Dr. Death. I said I didn't want to go to Dr. Death right now. All right, well, since we're here. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, this is really cool. We definitely got to come back. This is actually our type of thing. I love Saw. Saw is a All right. huge, huge fan of Saw. That's nice. why I'm excited to play the collector. Yes, yes. All right, I got to ask you. I know you play a lot of escape games. Yes. What was one that stood out for you? I want two, actually. What was one that stood out for you within the U.S.? doesn't okay. have to be a favorite because I know that's hard. Preferably the name of the company and the game. And yeah. then also one that's local around here that you want to give a shout out to. Two, two easy ones. Uh, so for my favorite one in the U.S. Uh, is going to go out to 13th Gate, uh, Cadro Cavern. Okay. Uh, Dwayne Sandboard builds amazing, amazing rooms. Huge shout out to Dwayne. Okay. Uh, if you haven't played Cutthroat, highly recommend it out there. Hands down. Blows, my, ro blows my rooms away. And Cutthroat's been out for a while and it still holds up. It is. It's it just, is. It's, like we haven't played actually surprisingly just you know, uh, full disclosure. We oh, have not visited it. 13th Gate yet. It's all. It's on a bucket oh list. Oh my god! Like, yeah, get it's out there. Get I know. It's definitely yeah, a place you're we you're have missing to get out. to. <laughs> you're missing out. And then uh, one. Oh, shout out to 13th Gate though yes, for Cutthroat definitely. Island. We get a lot of those shout outs. Um, and then one that's local that you want to give. So a shout unfortunately, out? the room's not here anymore. Uh, it's over at. Uh, it was at Escape the Room. They used to have a South Park room. Oh, uh, Carmen's Escape Room. Yes, yeah. So it was a. It, Cool, fun room. I mm -hmm. took the whole staff over there. We had a blast. Uh, it was super cool scene. A licensed room coming mm -hmm. to life like that. Uh, definitely a fun room, but unfortunately, so much fun, guys. Yeah. So if you can find a Cartman's escape room in your area at one of the escape room locations, definitely go check yeah, it out. Yeah, go go play before they're all gone. Oh yeah, definitely go play before they're all gone. Shout out to Escape the Room and shout out to Thirteen Gate and and thanks for giving those shout outs to them. Definitely, definitely. My God, <laughs> we gotta come back, guys. Um, wh where are we? What game is this one? Well, this obviously, is, it's this is the Pharaoh's Pharaoh. Chamber. Pharaoh's Chamber. All right. Okay. Yeah, we have to come back. He has three more games that we are not tackling today, and and then he has the Jurassic coming, which is yes. soon. Is there any other updates you want to share? Ah, uh, that's probably it for now. Um, okay. we are planning on two more rooms after that. Okay. Uh, and then we'll probably be maxed yeah. out this, but yeah, yeah, we're just under forty thousand square feet here, so we have a huge facility. Max out, you could be nine game, uh, ten games. Ten, ten games, and we'll probably be maxed out until we gotta like kind of start figuring out or adding on to the building. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I don't want to put you on a spot, but is there an ETA for Jurassic? Jurassic, we're hoping a month. Oh, this year though. Oh yeah, it definitely be this year. Oh okay. Yeah, we're hopefully sometime over the summer. All right. Well. Um, Last question for you. Yes. Such a cool guy. I want to get to know you a little bit better. What is something most people don't know about you outside of Minecraft? Do you have like a hidden talent, a hobby, something you like to do? Oh, that's you are putting me on the spot. <laughs> ah, it's like I'm travel. an FBI agent. <laughs> <laughs> travel. I don't know if I travel as much as you guys. You guys travel okay. a lot, uh, but I definitely like to travel. All right. Yeah. Uh, most recent place you visited? Ah, uh, Dubai, Colombia. So yeah, definitely some cool stuff out of the country. Okay. You know, you know, now I'm really gonna things. put you on the spot. All right. One of your favorite top destinations. Not your- Dubai. Dubai. Oh, wow. Sure. He was like, Dubai. <laughs> Dubai, oh. that, that, that was easy, hands down, yeah. Dubai is amazing. Yeah, it's definitely it is. amazing. You can spend the whole week there, there's so much to do. 
you'll never run out of time out there. Yeah, absolutely. They need, they need more rooms though. So I, we have not played in Dubai. We visited. We do have to go back. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to ask you off camera for some suggestions on where to go. Definitely. But hey, thank you so much for having cool. us. Thank really you. appreciate it. Guys, make sure you follow them on social media so you have more updates on when Jurassic is coming out yep. or anything else uh, and visit their website. Also, visit our website, EscapeTheRoman.com, so you know what we thought of the four games that we were playing here today. And also, uh, do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel because look what you're seeing. You're seeing glimpses into some of the rooms. I get to speak with cool people like Ryan about the creativity and the love and passion that goes into the, what they do and in the industry and uh, the parking lot situation, what the lobby looks like. And yeah, make it on over to Montgomery. You won't be disappointed at Mind Trap Escape Rooms. Ah! Two hits left for me to use. One hit left for me to move. Time is running out.